Ceiling fittings are essential to the safety of electrical raceways installed in hazardous classified locations. If not installed properly, they can pose a major safety hazard. The National Electrical Code defines the locations in which a properly poured ceiling fitting is required. The best way to ensure the fitting will perform as intended is to be well versed in the proper installation techniques, including pouring a seal. There are several accepted methods for pouring a seal offered by Plastibond, each with their own advantages. Before a seal can be poured, first pull the conductors through. Then, using Chico X fiber, build a dam at each conduit hub. For vertical seals, a dam is only required at the bottom hub. For horizontal seals, you must build a dam at both hubs. Use a wooden stick or separating tool to completely separate the conductors, being sure to pack the fiber tightly around all wires. Be sure that the conductors are not touching each other or the wall of the fitting. The dam must be tight and strong enough to keep the liquid sealing compound from leaking out before it sets. The completed dam should be even with the conduit bushing. Tighten the larger plug fully, verifying you have five full threads of engagement to ensure the proper flame path. Then you can begin the seal pouring process. Prepare the sealing compound using a completely clean mixing vessel for each batch. Shake the dry sealant thoroughly in all directions. Mix the sealing cement by adding one part clean cold water to two parts sealant by volume. Add water and stir immediately and thoroughly. Pour the sealant into the fitting until the mixture is level with the last thread. Wipe the fitting down to remove any excess sealant and tighten the small plug thoroughly. Squeeze the pouch until the inner liquid container breaks. Shake or knead the pouch until the compound and water are thoroughly mixed. Remove the cap and insert the flexible spout to pour the proper amount of sealant into the fitting. Wipe the fitting down to remove any excess sealant and tighten the small plug thoroughly. When pouring a vertical seal, create a dam with Chico X fiber to prevent the sealant from expanding past the fitting chamber. For a horizontal seal, no dam is required. Additionally, separating the conductors is not required, as the speed seal will separate the conductors as it expands. To prepare the sealing compound, remove the tape band from the cartridge. Squeeze the cartridge to break the foil barrier between the two contained materials. Hold the tube with the red cap on a flat surface. Push the mixing rod all the way into the bottom of the cartridge and pump rapidly for 40 to 50 strokes and for no longer than 30 seconds. The material will begin to expand quickly. At the last stroke, push the mixing rod all the way into the bottom and immediately unscrew the mixing rod, removing it carefully. Screw the pouring nozzle onto the cartridge where the mixing rod was removed and use the mixing rod to push the plunger. Inject the proper amount of sealing compound material into the fitting through the threaded opening, sealing it and cleaning it afterwards as usual. Attach the included red tag to designate that the fitting was sealed using Chico Speed Seal. When it comes to pouring a seal, make sure you select the correct seal and sealing compound that aligns with the hazardous location in which you are working, and perform the appropriate installation techniques to ensure a proper seal every time.